Hey guys, welcome back to the Take It or Leave It kitchen. It is finally fall around here, which means you and I are going to be spending a lot more time in the kitchen. Today, we are doing up a few jars of lard. Yes, my beautiful friend came to see me the other day and she had, I don't know, like 30 pounds of lard that she was not going to be able to use and so she shared it with me. She already put up what her and her husband would use and thought of me. I'm so excited. Yes, if you want to make Amy happy, just give her a bunch of lard. So I am going to show you guys how to take lard from a solid to a liquid, then back into a solid in a jar and on your shelf for a very nice shelf life. I'm not really sure what that shelf life is because we always tend to go through it so quickly. So let's get over to the stove and show you what we're doing. Then we'll come back here at the end and show you exactly how many jars we have. All right, so here you can see we have a solid hunk of lard and that's what it's gonna look like when you get it from your butcher. You're going to put it on a low heat. I have my heat on a number two, which is very low and you're just gonna let it simmer down basically <clears throat> once you get it simmered down you're going to strain it into another pot so as you can see there are still going to be some oh, white on white so you're not gonna be able to see it very well but you're still going to have some of those little bits as you can see when I strain it in there those are little fat bits now these will get crispy in the bottom of this and they are absolutely delicious on top of your salads. So don't throw that away. That is really nice. Keep it in your refrigerator and use it on top of your casseroles and salads and stuff. It's very, very yummy. Okay, you can season it all different, different ways. So we're gonna do that. And we're just gonna keep doing this. We're just gonna keep skimming the oil right off the top and putting it in our strainer and keeping all of this lard in this pot on a low temperature as well. So I also have this on, uh, it's probably between a one and a two. You don't want it to get too hot and bubbly and crackly. Um, and then we will, once we get a pot of this, we will stick those in our jars, wipe the rings, the lid, uh, lip off with some vinegar, put our lids on there, and then set them off to the side and just let them be. So I do fill these jars rather full. I take it to a quarter inch fill line and then wipe the tops and uh, put the, the lids on there, the rings on there, tighten them down and set them off to the side. All right, guys, there you have it. It took me all day long to do that. And Boone, I really hope that you enjoy this video. I wasn't gonna make this video and then you asked me to take some pictures. Here you go. It's just easier this way. I encourage you guys to get out there, make some friends. If they have pigs and they don't use that pork fat, you ask them for it and give them a little bit of money or give them some produce from your garden, do something to put this stuff on the shelf. It is superior to no other oil I have ever used. Until next time, you guys have a great week.